Um, arms in the air for Andrea Pazagli. Bringing us back to the next A final, the lightweight men's double this time. We have Spain lane one, Netherlands lane two, Turkey in lane three, Italy in lane four, Ireland in lane five, and France in lane six. Awaiting the starters call, Jorge Nab for Spain in stroke, Kidi Leiklama for the Netherlands in stroke, Sefik Kakman for Turkey, Giulio Asernesi for Team Italy in the stroke seat, Hugh Moore for Ireland, Baptiste Sapriete in the stroke for France. Typically silent at the start. And there's a sort of reverence for that silence, so we do like uh, and hope that you can hear the starters up there calling the beginnings of these racings. Up at the start, quick shout out to uh, Manfred Grishwindel. Lawrence Van Kampen. These are our starters, Ana Lucia Kiest. We appreciate all of the hard work that they do to make sure these boats are just perfectly aligned. And as we take a, cross, a look across the field, well, perfectly aligned and quite level are all of these athletes with France and Spain on the outside lane, slight advantage. Absolutely, and you want to be in that middle lane where we saw see the back of the Italians. They will have the best view of the field, be able to respond quickly without looking too far out of the boat here. But right now the mission is get away fast, get away clean, nose out, power on. Gutsy start for Spain. Up at 39 strokes per minute, Jorge Nab, Antonio Diaz Romas in the bow seat. And a full pan across the field. As we close in into the early goings, you just saw Hugh Moore of Ireland look over his left shoulder, feeling the Italians just off of their stern, France on the other side of them. Giulio Asernese in the stroke seat for Team Italy, Giovanni. Borgonovo in the bow. Just two hours ago, these athletes will have weighed in at an average weight of 70 kilos per person. And now they are going to be using all of their weight and might here to accelerate the boat down. Great hang and snap there on the athletes from Ireland as they suspend their hands off the power from the face of the blade being translated all the way through the body to the feet, no power leaks, full suspension. This Turkish, com Turkish combination of Sefik Kakman and Ines Gok saw them earlier just absolutely dominate um, in the prior round, the semi-final, where they led start, uh, pretty much start to finish, maybe slipping into second or in the early goings and quickly moving into first. Team Ireland, made up of Hugh Moore and Kieran Purdy, well, they were just so, so tightly packed, two one-hundredths of a second separating them in the prior round. This A final, another chance, of course, to test tactics against one another, to perhaps adjust your plan based on the competition, but most important, to trust your own plan. Absolutely, and a plan that they will have practiced many, many times. Uh, these athletes will have had distilled a race plan, a feeling, a movement, a technical change into one or two words that they have practiced over and over and over again. Perhaps it's hang and snap. Perhaps it's long and strong. Perhaps it's something that means something only to this combination. But whatever that ro uh, race plan is, it seems to be working here for the Spanish as they come through the thousand meter first, but barely anything between the Italy and Ireland in close pursuit with France, just on the heels of that Irish combination. Team Spain, Jorge Nab, Antonio Diaz Romas, just out of your picture, great pedigree in that shell. 
Nab taking the gold in the junior men's four last year, moving into the under 23 category. He's teamed up with Diaz Romas, who was in the lightweight men's quad last year, where he finished fourth. So they'll be looking to get onto the podium. They'll have to keep an eye, though, on Italy. Italy overhauling, moving from third at 500, second at halfway, and now uh, looking, well, looking to win the gold. Turkey then falling a little bit off the pace as Team Italy is on the charge. Giulio Esernese, heat number two winners, Giovanni Borgonovo. Yes, it looks like that Italian combination is not content to wait until the race, the uh, uh, rest of the rates raise their rate. They are going for it first. You can see that gutsy look on the face of the stroke of the Italian. That's Giolo Alcanze, and he will be wanting to follow in the footsteps of the other Italian crews. Perhaps they sent some of their, uh, their power up to him as they continue to hold on to the lead now. Ireland just four meters behind them in third it's France with Spain trying desperately to stay in the mix but falling behind big third 500 for all of these crews as the times roll in Italy leading Ireland back to France heartbreak for Turkey they'll have a lot of work cut out for them if they want to get on the podium Spain paying for that big first half of the race so just not able to keep this hot hot pace then it's back to the Netherlands up at the top Italy shows no sign of slowing down 40 strokes per minute for the Italians Absolutely, and the crowd is on their feet as they start to get closer to the 1500. We know the Irish have a sprint in them. They're six meters behind. They're not going to wait, but the Italians still at a punishing 40. They are being so brave and so gutsy. They want greatness. They want that gold medal around their neck, and they are not afraid to go for it. Still holding the lead here as Ireland starts to just slip back. They're going so hard. Have they gone? out too fast here can they hold it for the final 250 Ireland holding it would seem Ireland fourth at the 500 now in contention for the silver no one is catching team Italy that is my prediction Italy takes it up to 43 strokes per minute Giulio Assornese Giovanni Borgonovo Italy is on their feet in the grandstand Italy moving out of 43 holding that quickest moving boat on the course even team Ireland can't out sprint them this time then it's back to France in contention for what would be a bronze heartbreak for the Spaniards Netherlands out of the podium but team Italy through the line to win the under 23 lightweight men's double skulls absolutely thrilled Viva Italia I hope you can hear our Italian colleagues doing the commentary just next to me Bellissimo, bellissimo, and indeed it is. Up in the air, Giulio Asarnese throws his hands. Just thrilled with that result.